I want to show you how to turn any of your Lightroom presets into a LUT very quickly and easily. This is the clip that we're going to create a LUT for, but we can take the LUT once we've done that and apply it to any other clips which have a similar color scheme. The clip is inside Premiere Pro, but it doesn't matter what editing software you're using because we're going to be doing most of the work inside Lightroom and LUTs will work in any of your editing software that you can get. But the first thing you do need to do is convert your footage. So if you were using a log, you need to add a conversion to get it to Rec. 709. The conversion LUT that you need to use depends on the type of camera and the gamma profile that you're using, but you can get these from any of your camera manufacturers websites. Once you've done that, you need to export a frame from your editing software. When I'm doing this, I always recommend using something such as a TIFF file format because that will keep as much data in the file as possible. So I'm just editing this video and I don't quite explain why I prefer to use a TIFF over something such as a JPEG. I always find that TIFFs edit better in Lightroom than what JPEGs do but if you can only get a JPEG and if you can only export something like a screenshot it is what it is get on with it. It won't affect your final thing, but you may find that when you're, let's say, creating the LUT and altering your Lightroom preset, that the colors don't 100% match up to the way they should. But all you're doing with this TIFF is getting the settings for the Lightroom preset, and then you're gonna take the settings and apply it somewhere else. So it isn't a major thing. Store that image wherever you want on your computer, and then we're gonna come over to Lightroom and we're gonna drag that straight into Lightroom and import it. From here, you can add any of your Lightroom adjustments like you normally would, but we're gonna add a preset. So we're gonna come over to my Bly and Guy Wedding presets. Let's go to Soft and we're gonna leave it exactly like that. You can make adjustments to this, but things such as dehazing, clarity, or even local adjustments will not show up on the LUT. Once you're happy with the image that you've got, you wanna come over to this website, IWLTBAP LUTs Color Grading. I'll leave a link for it just down in the description box below. You wanna come down to the LUT generator, add that to your cart, make a purchase, and then once you've got that, open the software on your computer. Then you want to generate a HALD or a HALD or whatever they're going to be called. And we're going to save that next to the image which we've already exported from Premiere Pro. Let's go over to Lightroom and drag that PNG straight into there. Import that. Make sure we show all the images. And we're going to go over to the image that we've edited. We're going to copy the settings using Command C or Control C. And we need to untick a few things in this. We need to get rid of treatment and profile. We also need to get rid of white balance, exposure, texture, clarity, dehaze, detail. Lens corrections needs to be unticked. Transform all of your effects healing, crop, pretty much anything that doesn't affect the actual color or the exposure. Hello, it's me again. I will finish interrupting after this. But I know I just mentioned about the exposure thing and then I untick exposure. Almost every exposure is done in camera. Anything which I have to alter ever so slightly, I do straight away before it hits any of the correction looks. It's only ever the highlights and the shadows and stuff like that that I alter when it comes to the grade. But experiment, try using the exposure if you wish as part of your grade. Copy that, go over to your HALD and then paste all them settings onto it. And it will look a little bit weird, but we're gonna export that. We're gonna export it as Lightroom Wedding LUT. We're gonna change that to be a PNG and make sure it's 16 bits rather than eight bit. Then we're gonna go back to the LUT generator, click on convert to cube and then go over to the PNG, which we've just exported from Lightroom. Open that up and then leave it for a second and it will generate a LUT file for you. It'll come up saying that it's done, operation completed successfully. Perfect. Then we're gonna go back over to our video editing software and then add that LUT like we would with any other LUT like we've done before. Once you've found that file, you wanna hit open and it'll apply the LUT to your footage. That is almost identical to how it was inside Lightroom. Then you just need to go back to do the basic correction for that clip and that is how you create a LUT from any of your Lightroom presets. And that's it for me today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more content like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you do, I'll see you right there at the next video. Laters.